For this example, we've been asked to calculate the mean, median and mode for the following set of data. Now you should recall the definitions of mean, median and mode. Let's start off with the mode. Now that typically is the easiest one to calculate. The mode is the value that occurs most often. Now, whilst not necessary, it does make it easier to see the mode if you write your data out in numerical order. And that's something we'd have to do anyway when calculating the median. So let's do that. Let's write our data set out in numerical order. Starting off with the smallest value, which is 1. We then have a 2 another two, another two, and another two. We then have a four, another four, another four, and we're left with two sevenths. So we've written our values out in numerical order, and it's clear now which value occurred most often? We see 1 only occurs once, 2 occurs 4 times, 4 occurs 3 times, and 7 occurs twice. So we can write down mode is equal to 2. Now the median is defined as the middle value of an ordered set of data and that bit is very important an ordered set so to calculate the median value we look at n plus 1 over 2 value where n is the number of data points that we have. So how many data points do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 data points. So n is 10. So the median term is going to be 10 plus 1 over 2. So that is 11 over 2 which is the 5.5th value. So this tells us that our median value is exactly in between the 5th value and the 6th value. Our median lies between those two values. So we need to go to our ordered set of data, look for the 5th term, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 2 is my 5th term, look for our 6th term, which is 4, and our median is a term that lies exactly between 2 and 4. In other words, we need to find the average of 2 and 4, so we do 2 plus 4 over 2, which gives us 6 over 2 which is 3. So 3 is our median value. It lies exactly between 2 and 4. So median is equal to 3. To work out the mean requires us to remember a formula. The mean means to add up all the values and divide by how many values we have. This can be written more mathematically as sum of x, which means add up all your values, divided by n, which is your sample size. So sum of x just means add up all our values. So we're going to have to do 1 plus 2 plus 2 
plus 2 plus 2. So we've added up the first five values there. We also have 4, 4, 4, 7 and 7. So we also need to do plus 4, plus 4, plus 4, plus 7, plus 7. This is the sum of all my values. To work that out, you can either work it out in your head or use a calculator. So we'll use a calculator. So AC clears your screen and we'll do 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 7 and plus another 7 and press equals and we get 35 so we can say the sum of x is equal to 35 or when we add up all of our values we get 35 so our mean is 35 divided by how many values do we have? How many values do we have? We worked that out earlier. N was 10. So we're going to divide by 10. Now this is a nice easy value to work out. 35 divided by 10 is 3.5. But you may want to use your calculator. So to do it on our calculator, AC clears the screen, press the fraction button, type in 35 for your numerator, press down to get your to your denominator which is 10 and press equals and it gives us 7 over 2. To turn it into a decimal, SD button gives us 3.5. So we can see the mean of our data is 3.5. So to answer this question, the mean was 3.5. The median was equal to 3. And the mode was equal to 2.